everybody. How are you doing today? And I wonder where you are. Maybe some of you are in school. <laughs> maybe some of you are not in school. Uh, maybe some of you are, well, maybe some of you are at home and wish you were in school. And maybe some of you are in school and you're not so sure about being in school. Maybe you're a bit mixed up with what you're feeling and what you're thinking at the moment. And, you know, that's okay. Sometimes we can be a bit up and sometimes a bit down. We can be up and down all in the space of, of one day. And that that's normal, isn't it, Jasper? We can all feel like that. Yeah, I, I remember that as well. Can you remember the first video that we made? Jasper was not so sure about coming out at all on that day, weren't you? Yeah, that's right as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and sometimes we do have to be a bit brave. You were brave on that day and you came out, weren't, didn't you? Sometimes we have to be that little bit brave. Um, the restrictions in our world, lockdown, is, is changing a little bit. Again, we can do a few more things. Things are changing. Uh, and with change, sometimes we can be that little bit fearful about change, not so sure about change. And so we have to have that bit of courage. So I wondered, let's just have a pause, shall we? And just have a think, when do you need to be a bit brave? When do you need a little bit of courage? Have a talk or have a think, pause the video now and have a think, when do you need to be brave? When do you need a little bit of courage? Well, I hope having a chat or having a think about being brave just helps out a little bit. Um, in the last video that we made, perhaps you remember, it was about the Holy Spirit, the greatest gift. And God gives us his Holy Spirit to help us to be brave. And I think we probably all need that. There's this passage in the Bible about a little girl who was brave. Uh, let me tell you about that passage. Um, the little girl, she was one of God's people, one of the Israelites, and they'd been captured by the Syrian army. And now she was living with one of the soldiers, an important commander actually called Naaman. But Naaman was ill. He had this terrible disease, leprosy. His arms, his skin were peeling and sore and horrible and flaky. A little bit like eczema, if you know eczema, but a lot, lot worse. Well, this little girl, she was brave because she spoke up to help Naaman. She said to Naaman, there's this man back in my homeland, a man of God, a man called Elisha. And if you go and see him, he can cure you of your leprosy. Naaman straight away was interested. He wanted to go and be healed. He gathered servants, he gathered, he gathered riches and gifts together to give to, to Elisha when he healed him and knocked on Elisha's door when he got there. But Elisha sent a servant down, Gehazi, to go and answer the door. And Gehazi said to Naaman, the man of God, Elisha, says this, that if you want to be cured, if you want to be healed, you've got to go and dip yourself seven times in the river Jordan and come out and you will be healed. Well, to be honest with you, Naaman was a bit cross about that. Go and dip myself in a dirty river. I, I, I could have dipped myself in a river at home. He was just about to go back all frustrated and angry when his servant said to him something like this. Well, if the man of God had said to you to do something brave, you would have done that, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course I would have done that, said Naaman. Well, maybe you can just go and dip yourself into the river seven times. That's easy. Give that a go. See what happens. So Naaman did, okay, okay, I'll give it a go. And he dipped himself once. Nothing happened. Twice he dipped himself into the River Jordan. Nothing happened. Three times, four times he dipped himself into the River Jordan. Still, nothing had happened. Five times he dipped himself. He came out and still his skin was sore and peeling and horrible. Six times he dipped in, still not healed. But it was seven times he had to dip, wasn't it? And he dipped 
into the river a seventh time and when he came out he was healed he was cured his skin was back to normal he raced to go and see Naaman and to to go see Elisha and he knocked on his door and this time Elisha did answer and Naaman said here I give you these gifts I am healed I am cured thank you so much have these gifts and Elisha said I don't want any gifts it wasn't me it was God that healed you and from that point Naaman he decided to worship Elisha's God as well his life was turned around and his life was changed all because if you remember at the start it was because a little girl was brave and she spoke up all of us sometimes need to be a bit brave even if we don't feel like it sometimes we need to be a bit brave let's say a prayer shall we thank you God that you promise to help us always and at these times when when the world is changing again please help us to be brave and to have courage Amen thanks everybody see you soon take care bye now